Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at an example on central angles and rotation of regular polygons. The question reads, a regular pentagon is rotated about its center. What is the minimum number of degrees needed to carry the pentagon onto itself? So before we get started, we're going to be going over a very important point concerning polygons and how many degrees needs to uh, be rotated about your center to carry them back to themselves. Okay, so this is very important point to note is as follows. So something to remember is that if a regular polygon is rotated about its center, So you might wonder what a regular polygon is. So just a real quick review. A regular polygon is a polygon where all the sides are congruent. Okay. So for example, a square is a regular polygon because all the sides of a square are congruent, right? And the, a triangle is uh, equilateral. Triangle is also a regular polygon um, because all the sides are congruent. So an equilateral polygon is also known as a regular polygon all right so just keep that in mind so if you if a regular polygon is rotated about its center by the measure of its central angle guess what if it's rotated by the measure of its central angle it is carried onto itself all right all right so keep that point in mind all right so just to illustrate that we have a regular polygon here a square so the central angle of a square is um 360 divided by 4 which is 90 degrees so if we rotate this square by 90 degrees which is a measure of its central angle so if you want to know what the central angle is this right here is the central angle. Just connect the center to two vertices and get the central angle, okay? So the central angle of a square is 90 degrees because there's the four of them right there, all right? You just take the entire circle, 360 divided by four, all right? So the central angle of a square is um, 90 degrees. Now, if we rotate this square 90 degrees about its center, guess what? We rotated 90 degrees about a center, bam, that's 90 degrees, guess what? It carries it onto itself, basically it maps it back to itself. You get, you have exactly what you started with. All right, so that's um, what this reminder is talking about. All right, so now let's go ahead and formulate a strategy for this problem. So here we have a regular pentagon rotated about its center. What's the minimum number of degrees to carry it to itself? So what is this question actually asking us to find? What is the connection here to connect the minimum number of degrees to the rotation about a center to map it to itself? So the strategy that we're going to use is as follows. We are simply going to find what? We're going to find the central angle of irregular polygon. And we'll find the central angle of a regular polygon it will tell us uh, the minimum number of degrees uh, to rotate the pentagon to carry it onto itself you could do it more if you do it by multiples of the measure of a central angle you still map it to itself okay so like the square example we just did if you rotate it by 90 180 270 360 you're still going to map the square back to itself okay all right, so how do we find the central angle of any polygon? We just did it with the example of the square, but let's talk about it generally. The formula is as follows. The central angle, central angle of an n-sided polygon is what you just simply take full circle rotation 360 and divide it by the number of sides bam 
360 divided by n. Okay. So for a pentagon, how many sides does a pentagon have? A pentagon has five sides, right? So for a pentagon, n is equal to five. Okay. So what's the central angle of a pentagon? So the central angle of a pentagon is 360 divided by n, 360 divided by 5. If you do the calculations, that is 72 degrees. Okay, so the minimum number of degrees needed to carry a pentagon onto itself when you rotate it about its center is 72 degrees. Okay, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found on mathcutserve.com. Do check it out. If you have any questions about what we just went over or any geometry questions in general, just specify it in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.